What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brother B Man Jones, back again for another episode of Bridge Views. Today, I'm going to sit down and talk with Mr. Justice Cox. We're going to talk about the upcoming event taking place at Anderson. So, welcome to another view. Brilliant views today. We're gonna to sit down and talk to Mr. Justice Cox. He's here with us today, man. This is my longtime friend. Played basketball together. Played basketball against each other. He went to Grand Rule. I was the Jailman Patriot. Okay. Raiders 2011. <laughs> Jailman Patriots 2011. <laughs> But anyway, man, we're actually here to talk about your foundation, your organization, man, Connect. Please, man, like, where did that idea come from? What made you want to start that organization? And how did you get to the point where you are now as far as having an upcoming community event? How did you get there? Uh, most definitely. But first, let me say shout out to Mr. Braylon Jones. Brilliant views. <laughs> um, it's an honor to be here. Right, um, right. But first and foremost, yes, we have an event coming up March 4th um, at the Anderson County Civic Center uh, race relations event. Um, we have the group Connect hosting it from Anderson University. And Connect um, started at Anderson University in 2014. Um, and it came from different focus groups between the administration and the students at AU. Okay. And what we've seen through these focus groups is that many people um, didn't feel like they fitted into the typical Anderson University student mode. Right. And so this caused them you know, to go to their rooms, um, and, not, and not interact with the not, not Not interacting, um, pretty much going to the cafe, going to class, back to the room. Right. Um, they didn't feel involved, and we know that studies show that if you're not enjoying your college experience, that you won't be successful in it. I mean, because going to class and just going back to your room, that's not really an experience. Yeah. That's just, At all, especially yeah. college. Right. right. And so we was like, what can we do? Mm -hmm. uh, what, are, what are some solutions that we can come up with to kind of remedy these problems? And so some ideas came up of like a black student union. Um, and we was like, uh, that's not a bad idea, but it's not just a black issue. Right, because it's more than just black people. Yeah, the most definitely. Yeah. And so, um, through uh, all these talks, we came up with a multicultural organization mm -hmm. um, that celebrates and promotes diversity. Right. And so, um, since 2014 to today, it's been very successful. Um, what we do is that we not only focus on the diversity uh, within races, but in perspective and the way we think. Okay. And understanding that, you know, how we see the world is through our own uh, lenses, our own belief systems. Right. And just like each and every... Seriously, just how we see the world. Mm -hmm. And it's important to understand, like, different people's stories mm -hmm. and understand your own. And so that's pretty much what Connect is. Um, and our mission statement, um, like I said earlier, is celebrating and promoting diversity mm -hmm. through education, empowerment, and love. Um, those are three core values. Why? Wow, okay, so education, empowerment, and love. Why were those three core values out of all these values that I mean that are in the world that you can choose from? Why just education, empowerment, and love? Why those three? Well, most definitely, education is um, something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, Cause you're you're a school teacher, right? Yes, sir. Fourth grade at okay. Mountain View uh, Elementary School, loving it. Right. Um, but education, man, it's really key. Um, many people look at it as the great divide, um, but also something that can bring us. Um, together and understand that the world just takes advantage of uneducated people okay. um, at the end of the day and like I said earlier understanding your story um, and being open to understand the stories of others um, in part in the education not just academia you know but just daily lives people so you can learn routine you can learn outside of class yeah learning outside of class so that's really what it is so that's the education piece mm -hmm. and you got empowerment Right. And what Connect is, just like Brilliant Views, is giving people a voice, right. um, a voice to the voiceless. And when you feel like you have that voice, um, it causes you to be empowered. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? You have a, a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose. Right. And so that's what Connect wanted to give to students, you know, a sense okay. of uh, uh, purpose. purpose of, and understanding that they, too, are um, Anderson students. And you guys are the Trojans, right? The Trojans, yes, right. sir. They're, they're also Anderson Trojans. They're not just, you know, just a, a check to Anderson. They're actually, that, you know what I'm saying? They're right. a student. Like, this is your school too. Uh, you are somebody. Right. Um, right. So you got your education, you got your empowerment, mm -hmm. and you got love. Right. Whew, that's the body of course, bro. That's what brings it um, all together. And we look at it as an agape love. You know, okay. the, the God kind of love. Okay. Yeah. Unconditional yes, um, type love. Uh -huh. And dealing with the God, but you got your um, patience, you got your respect, you got your humility, um, you got your um, all, all these type of oh, things right. that, that come, goes into love. And that's what we want to show, not just that feeling of love, but that, you know, that feeling is based on condition, right. you know, how you make me feel, but when you can seriously respect somebody's opinion, mm -hmm. um, be humble, 
Right. Um, about your own experiences and right. open, man. I just feel like that's a, a great kind of love. In other words, saying that love is like a connecting piece yeah, to everybody. Most definitely. Yeah, definitely. And so those, those are the three keys: education, empowerment, and love. And we felt like with those three things, man, anything is possible, right. and people can definitely come together and connect. Uh, and connect. <laughs> At the end of the day, like seriously, putting our differences aside. Not really putting our differences aside. But understand that we have differences, but we also have things that we have in common, and that brings us um, together. All right, okay. So, on um, March 4th, the event, what is the name of the event, and how did this event come from Connect? Like, what made you guys want to put the event on? What is exactly. Uh, March 4th, um, it's a race race relations event. Okay. Um, and pretty much what they're saying um, as you, you're building relationships amongst different races. Um, it, it's coming out of, uh, we had a race forum in Anderson um, before Christmas last year. Okay. And pretty much it turned into um, a much needed bidding session. Um, people just started talking at people, um, but nothing really got solved. And so everybody agreed this conversation must keep going, this conversation must keep going, but nobody really knew how. Like, how can we keep this conversation going? And so, um, through some people, connections with Anderson County, um, we got together and partnered and we were like, hey, let's just do what we do with Connect to Anderson University for the community, the whole community. The whole community. Right. And so um, through some great people, some great sponsors, we was able um, to get the Civic Center, we was able to get um, Bakari Sellers, who will be our keynote speaker. Um, really looking forward to that. But basically, building relationships amongst different races. We have different hands-on activities, um, different team building activities, um, different critical thinking activities, okay. um, just to get people seeing um, beyond their own experiences. Right, um, see so, it from like, somebody else's view and see that the world is bigger than what you see. Much bigger, much bigger. I got you. So it's like, is it for all ages or is it a certain targeted group that you guys really want to come? Or is it like, I know, I mean, I understand that, you know, everybody's always welcome to come, but who are the people that, you know, if you could go grab them, who would you grab them for? To? Well, that's a, that's a beautiful question. Uh, we didn't put an age limit on it, okay. um, but we definitely um, encourage like 14 and up, okay. um, getting our young and our old. Because people feel like it's a big, well, it is a big disconnect between our older generation and our younger generation. But that's why we need to be together. We need to be in a space where we can talk about it. Um, and talk, about, talk about the differences between uh, generations and races as well. Because, like, I mean, there is a disconnect between generations. But I also think that sometimes that disconnect comes from the fact of people not wanting to sit down mm -hmm. and talk to each other. But with events like this, such as this event here, like, these, this is the perfect time for people to come out and sit down and talk to that, that, that young kid that you feel like you can't talk to because he's not listening to you. Because he listens to the type of music or something that you feel like you can't connect with him. This is the moment you get down. You talk to that young man, that young sister. Because if you don't come connect, yeah. then what's gonna like what's gonna what's happen? Definitely. And I see it with kids on the daily. Like a lot of problems come up of miscommunications. Okay. Or somebody misinterpreting something somebody said. But like we talked about um, in our class today, like you just sit down and talk, like about how you felt, how that made you feel. You know what I really meant to do. How uh, it can just take so much stress away, you know, so much anger, right. just do that conversation, just do that talking. Let me, let me ask you this, where, when, where do you think that disconnect came from? Like, do you think it just came from over time? Do you feel like it just came out of nowhere or it came from different laws and different things going on in the world as a whole? Like, I mean, I, I honestly never even really thought about that, man. Um, I like to look just being more solution minded. Okay. Um, we see it's a problem, um, but what are we gonna do about it? Right. You know, and so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it comes from laws. I'm pretty sure some theories that can explain it. But like, what can we do right now to fix that? Um, yeah. And so that's that's what it is. The solution minded solution minded dialogue. Right. Let's talk about solutions. I tell my kids all the time, don't come to me talking about problems. I'm like, how, how are we gonna fix it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know that we know we know it's milk on the floor. Yeah. How are you gonna fix yeah. it? Yeah, are we gonna clean it up? Are we gonna sit here and say it's milk on the floor? Okay. Right? And so we go on March fourth. Uh, we're not only talking about that milk that's on the floor, but we're gonna talk about that downy. You know, to go on and pick it up. Okay. You know, so oh. how are we gonna pick it up and how are we gonna clean it up? I got you. Um, now the keynote speaker again is Mr. Uh, Bakari Sellers. Okay. Um, yes, he's an attorney now and a CNN analyst. Right. Um, and definitely he's coming to talk about the importance of diversity and inclusion in today's society right. and why this conversation of race is even needed. 
You know, it is a hard conversation to have. Right, you, know, right. you can die it's, always, admit. it's always been a hard conversation, especially in America, because mm-hmm. you know sometimes. As, as different races, we don't want to understand. We don't want to see the other races. We don't want to see their struggles, what they're really going. Yeah, and, and, and it's, not, it's not a white thing, and it's definitely um, not a black thing. It's, it's a human thing. Right. Um, but like, it, it's just sitting down and understanding. Like, we need to have this talk. Right. And a lot of people are like just don't talk about it. And I look at it as like a band aid, like a sword. Mm-hmm. You know, eventually you got to remove that band aid so it can everybody can heal. Right. You know, if you keep that band aid on it, it's not going to heal properly. Right. Continue to be a wound. So at some point you gotta take it off and we gotta talk about it. Right. And so March 4th, uh, we're setting up a space, um, definitely a safe space, um, people to be open, um, to be challenged, to be changed. Um, right. So March 4th at the Anderson Civic Center. Anderson County Civic Center. Anderson County Civic Center, come out and connect, man. Connect with that person that you feel like you can't connect with. Cause this is the time, this is the moment, this is the place for you to do so. Alright? So I wanna see you all there in March 4th. What time does it begin? It's from 8 to 12.30, 8 a.m. to 12.30. Um, light refreshments will be provided. You got to find your own lunch. Um, <laughs> okay. But uh, thank you to our sponsors and everybody who supported. Um, a major shout out to Brilliant Views. And um, we, this, <laughs> these are the type of things that I want to talk about, man. So especially if somebody like-minded like me that I know is doing good, positive things, man, I got to have somebody like you on the show. That's why I brought you in. <laughs> Most definitely. Hey, man. Be here. Thank you coming man hey and like i said march 4th y'all be there in anderson county all right thank you for tuning in to brilliant views make sure you like subscribe the channel and make sure you show up march 4th in anderson county all right man y'all be good peace